Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to build this compact and awesome redstone contraption. It is a trapdoor armor equipper. Our player stands on the marked block, presses the button and the machine equips them with armor in a unique and discreet way. You can see here that it is a very compact redstone design. The contraption fits inside a 5x5x6 area with the exception of the wiring that leads to the input. It is also flush with the floor above it, meaning you can hide this armor equipper from sight. The machine works by using a double piston extender to retract the surface block and lower the player down two blocks to where the dispensers are. The machine is timed to activate those dispensers before the double piston extender extends again, which pushes the floor and the player to the surface. So let's start the tutorial. I'm going to show you how to build this trapdoor armor equipper, which is everything that you see here, with the exception of this white wall on the side, because that is our input and that will be wired up differently for each player depending on where they want to put the button to control this. So I'm going to do this tutorial how I picture you building it, which is working from the floor downwards, because you probably already have a floor in mind where you want to put this. So you're going to need to dig out an area that is five by five blocks and that goes down six, and that sixth block at the top here is level with the floor, so there's five blocks of air below that. Now you're going to need 25 building blocks, and they're going to be the same material as your surface, because that's going to fill up the top here to be flush with your floor. And then below that you are going to need another 34 blocks for building the redstone with. You will need 17 redstone, 10 redstone repeaters, 7 redstone torches, 4 dispensers, and 2 sticky pistons. So let's start off by building the pulse extender, that is this orange bit of circuitry right here. That takes the input from the button at the top and just extends it so that when this block right here is retracted it means that the dispensers have enough time to equip you before the block extends back up to the surface again. So what we need to do is place down an X like this and then three blocks over on this side as well. Let's place down two repeaters in the middle here and then one at the back like that. So that one stays on the default, that one goes to the highest setting and then you just right click that one there once and then we need to place down three bits of redstone there, another two over here and last of all we put a torch on the side here. So next I'm going to show you how to build the double piston extender, that is the blue part of this circuit right here and there is quite a lot of redstone going on here so first of all we're just going to place down all of the blocks. So below where this redstone torch is, either side of that we want a block and then go over and up one and again and then do the same thing on the other side so you have a block here then leave a gap, put a block above it and then to the side of that gap place two blocks and remove the first one and then back here you need to place down one block above the corner, three blocks and then three blocks again and then another two so it looks like that and now we can place down all of the redstone so we're going to place a redstone wire here and here and then place down two redstone torches like so and then to the side over here we're going to place down a repeater facing into this block and on the other side of this block we need to put down a redstone torch and on this block here a redstone torch on either side and then we need to place down four redstone repeaters like this we're going to right click on this one and this one and then right click twice on the one over here and then place down four pieces of redstone and there you go we've built the double piston extender so next I'm going to show you how to build the part which powers the dispensers, that is all made out of purple wool and it starts off with this repeater here which adds a delay and it sends a signal up to this block here which then sends it around to the one on the other side and so either side of those blocks between these dispensers are a piece of redstone and when they get powered the dispensers get activated. So let's build this, if we come around here we need to place a block on the side of that blue one, one over here then one against this blue block one on the side there and then another one up the top and so if we go down here and place a torch on this block and then on this one here we need to place that repeater and put it on the fourth setting and then we need to place down some more blocks so one there then another two in front of it one over here one on top of this blue one and one just there and then the last thing we need to do is place down the dots of redstone on either side don't worry about that connecting up and then four more pieces of redstone and a repeater so we've now built all of the redstone, the last thing to do is to put in the dispensers and the sticky pistons. So if we go into the middle here and place down the dispensers first of all, you want to put one on top of that piece of redstone, one on the side of this redstone, same thing again, just putting them on the edges of each of these redstones so they're in the correct position and they all face inwards like this. Then we need to put a sticky piston on the side of this block so it faces upwards and then one on top of that. 
and that is it pretty much finished right there now you can put your block on the top and you can fill in all of this space here and the last thing that we need to do is to wire it up to an input so the input is really easy to understand it is this block right here that needs to get powered and that can be by the redstone on top of it or a repeater facing into the block and so the input also needs to be off by default so it gets powered um, by a button which then turns it on and so there is also another use for this as well that I wanted to point out you could just have it as a cool item dispenser so when I power this instead of having armor in there we've actually got some apples and then that way we can go over here and just pick them up so another cool use for this machine so that is it for this tutorial video if you've enjoyed it please do give it a like and if you want to download the map that you see right here there will be a link in the description box along with some links to some of my other videos and they're on the screen and all that good stuff as well so as always thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time oh snap that's cool <laughs> oh unlucky oh my god first time was perfect yeah and, just... and I didn't record it properly <laughs> <laughs> too far <laughs> dude come on and the time as well okay this get this this one i got it i got it buddy i got All it right. <laughs> it's gonna take like <laughs> two hours just get this all right all right last try now nah. we got this we got this buddy are you kidding me <laughs> are you shitting me i was looking down at everything all right this time i'm gonna get it buddy <laughs> 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 All right, this time, buddy. Oh. This is my Minecraft character, you know?